the Buffon's needle problem. There is a plane with many parallel lines spaced two units apart. On this, you randomly throw needles which are one unit long. What is the probability a needle would cross one of the lines? Seems like a simple question, and if you follow carefully, you'll arrive at an interesting answer. To simplify the question, we will start by considering the point that the needle first makes contact with the plane. For example, if this was the needle and I dropped it on this plane, this dot, we'll be considering this dot. We'll call this P. For the needle, for this needle, only the closest line to this P has any chance of being crossed. So we will be drawing just one line. And write the distance between this line and this dot as x. x can range from 0 to 1. Now we will consider the angle that the needle will fall on. Let's call the angle between the perpendicular line crossing P and the needle as theta. For example, if the needle were to fall down like this, then this would be theta. If the needle fell like this, this theta, and if the needle were like this, this theta. I'll put this counterclockwise as positive and clockwise as negative. So theta can range from minus pi to pi, making a circle of possibilities. Out of these possibilities, there are two significant lines. One is here and one is here. It's the points where the circle of possibilities meets the lines. So when the needle ends exactly at the line. These two angles, I'll call them alpha. Logically, for this needle to cross this line, set has to be e between alpha and minus alpha. You can see that alpha is related with x because cosine alpha is x. Thus, we can write alpha as inverse cosine x. We're almost at the end. For p1 with distance x1, the set has to be between minus alpha and just alpha, which can be written as minus inverse cosine x1 and inverse cosine x1. Thus, for this particular p1, the probability it will cross the line is 2 inverse cosine x1 over 2 pi. As we can see in this is 2 inverse cosine x1 and this is 2 pi. If we draw the probability density function, thanks photomath, the probability density function looks like this. Now all we have to do is calculate this orange area and we'll get the probability. We need to calculate this. We can again calculate this by using photomath, but if you examine the graph carefully, without the coefficient, this thing, it's the same graph as a normal cosine graph, This just flipped by the y equals x axis. So the calculation can go like this. We can calculate easily this, which is 1. Thus, the final answer is 
1 over pi. I hope this wasn't too hard and you were able to follow up to the very end. I have a few more ideas on what I want to make about. A like and a subscribe would encourage me a whole lot. Thank you.